Ubuntu 10.10 .10 is out today and I've been using the NetTop and desktop versions for oh, about a week now. Very impressed with the desktop version. I'm even switching from Windows to Ubuntu full time from now. And as for the NetTop version, uh, NetBook version, I'm not too impressed with it, especially compared to the previous 10.04 NetBook edition and to other Linux distros, uh, especially compared to Jolly Cloud. This one, this version 10.10, .10 feels slow, and I'm not too sure I like the new uh, change to the interface. But anyway, let's just launch it right now. The boot up is pretty quick. This is on a old netbook, a Samsung N140 netbook, and it's running off a typical 160 gigabyte hard drive, which you used to get on the our most old netbooks. So it's pretty quick, as you can see there, we're almost there. And there we go, we're on the desktop already. So that was pretty quick. I'm just trying to connect to Wi-Fi now. Wi-Fi is pretty, uh, hardware compatibility is a bit spotty. Sometimes Wi-Fi is working, sometimes not. That's gonna depend on your netbook and your hardware, so. Anyway, Wi-Fi is working now. So this is the new desktop here, new wallpaper, I think. And we've got our new uh, launcher menu over here. So we've got no um, menu here straight away. We have to access it through this sidebar here. So we can scroll up and down. And it's a mix of folders and applications. So let's just go to our files and folders. This is where we can access all our folders and stuff. So documents, music, pictures, videos, recent files. We can search for files here. We've got all our app applications here. So our control panel settings and all that are also mixed in here, like language support. We've got typical workspaces, which you get on all Linux distros. And uh, let's just open a browser here. So I'm finding it a bit slow, as you can see here. It's taken a while to open things up. Let's just open another one so you can see the speed. Really shouldn't be this slow. Okay, so there we go. Let's just. Alright, so. There we go, and let's just have a look around somewhere else. There's the App Store, Ubuntu Software Center. I'm not sure what the improvements are in this version over the 10.04 version, but it's pretty good. I like it. Let's just install something here. Um, let's install Amarok. Just click install and you'll see a progress bar over here. Okay, it's taking, oh, there we go. So it's installing now. So very simple to install stuff. On the desktop version, there's a paid software section, which is which has just started. So that's about it, really. We've got a shared menu up the top here to save space now, save uh, extra vertical space. We can go to the main menu. We've got the main options here, so you can get new apps, access your files and folders, office applications, access the web, email, so that's pretty much it. We've still got the same uh, monochrome, monochrome icons at the top here. So really, that's pretty much it. That's the new Ubuntu Lite 
theme for the uh, Unity theme for the netbook version, we can also hold down the Windows key and quickly as access these uh, apps in the launcher here just by pressing on the number keys. And let's just shut down now. So that's pretty much it. That's the new netbook version. Not too sure I like the interface and it's a bit slow, but give it a shot yourself and see if you like it. That was a quick boot down as well. This is the desktop version of Ubuntu 10.10 .10, and I've been using it for about a week or so. Very impressed with it, unlike the netbook version. Everything's pretty much working. I've got a dual monitor set up here and that's working almost perfectly. I didn't have to edit any config files this time. It's all straight through the GUI. There are a few glitches like uh, some icons showing up on the left desktop here. They should be sh showing up on the main desktop here. But apart from that, it's working very nicely. I'm using the Docky app launcher here, which is very nice. Um, what else is there? Uh, there's the App Store and Ubuntu One. Let's just take a look at Ubuntu One. So that's down here. This is the like the Ubuntu version of Dropbox. You get two gigabytes of storage for free. I've, I'm using up about 850 gigabytes here. And the nice thing about Ubuntu One is that it's integrated into Ubuntu. So, as you can see here, I've got a, my pictures folder here. And as you can see here, Ubuntu One is up the top here, and we can click this button to synchronize our folders automatically. So, that's a very nice feature there. And uh, I've also got Dropbox working there. Let's take a look at the application store now. Ubuntu Software Center. Okay, so there's the software center. We've got software provided by Ubuntu, Canical Partners for purchase. And uh, let's take a look at these. So for purchase, this is just starting up now and there's the first paid app some kind of DVD player, apps from Canonical Partners, Adobe Reader, some codecs, and then we've got the main software center where you've just got all your uh, tons of free software there. And I've showed you how to install software on the net netbook version, but anyway, so that's the desktop. Not much has changed up the top here, it's pretty much the same. And that's about it really. Not much else to add. Everything's working great. Haven't had any crashes or anything like that, so give it a try yourself. I'm very impressed with it.